This one hit all the right notes. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage, I've reviewed about 400 Indian movies on the channel and I thought it might be a nice idea to watch and review Advait Chandan's first film Secret Superstar before his second and most anticipated movie is coming out in a few days. The official Forrest Gump remake Lal Singh Chada, starring Mr. Perfectionist himself, Amir Khan. He also starred in this one, or at least that's what I thought before watching it, because his role is actually only a smaller, supporting one. I only knew that he played some peculiar looking guy who has something to do with the music industry, and that it's about some talented singer. But I had absolutely no idea how much I would end up loving this film. I honestly didn't expect much from it, just a middle of the road commercial crowd pleaser. But not only am I definitely in that crowd for this one, but it really hit all the right notes for me. I watched it during my long train ride home to Germany to visit my family. And if it wasn't for me sitting in a train, I would have definitely bawled my eyes out. Secret Superstar is a 2017 Hindi language coming of age music drama that also became one of the most successful Indian movies ever made. And looking at what it cost and how much it made, it even became one of the most profitable movies of all time. Like I said, it was the first film written and directed by Advait Chandan, who has worked with Amir Khan before. Working on the show Zatyamev Jayate, which deals with sensitive social issues, he came up with the idea for this film. And as you know, films that deal with social issues, films that shine a light on certain problems, films that transport a message of social justice and empowerment, that's just right up my alley. And since I started my journey into Indian cinema, I have seen quite a few that left an impact, and Secret Superstar is one of them. It's not a gritty film or even a super realistic and grounded one. It's a film for the masses. But in that lies its great potential of bringing across its message to many, many people, and at the same time also giving you some joy and inspiration. It tells the story of the teenager Insia, played by Zaira Vazim, after she played a part in Ami Khan's previous big blockbuster Dangal. Insia is a super talented singer-songwriter who lives with her mother Najma, played by Meha Avic, her grandmother, younger brother Gudu, and their abusive father Farooq, played by Raj Arjun. Right from the beginning, it's totally clear what the movie will be about. The very first scene introduces us to Insia's passion and talent for music when she is playing the guitar and singing one of her songs for her classmates on a school trip. We are also already being introduced to her schoolmate Chintan, played by Tirth Chama, and we can immediately pick up on his affection for her. And then, when Insia is picked up by her mother at a train station, she wears big sunglasses in a hopeless attempt to cover up a black eye. And because she lies about how she got that black eye, it's also clear immediately that it must come from her husband. The storytelling of Secret Superstar is completely by the book, but that's not meant as a negative at all. Yeah, it might be all a bit too on the nose, but because this is intended for basically the entire family, that's perfectly fine. It's actually a really beautiful and totally moving coming of age film and one that works for audiences of all ages. A more gritty and grounded examination of similar themes might be Vikramaditya Mutwande's Udan. But with Secret Superstar, we just have to go with the idea that Insia is talented to no end and that big dreams like becoming the most beloved singer can become true. It's a little bit like a real world fairy tale and in that regard, it reminded me of Slumdog Millionaire. Though Danny Boyd's film is of course much more brutal. But also just through the incorporation of a very iconic and popular TV show. Who wants to be a millionaire in Boyd's movie and Indian Idol in this one? Though in this one, that show is only coming up in a brief moment, and it doesn't really play any role for the actual story. Which was surprising to me, but it was also a very positive surprise. Because instead, the film focuses on the strong mother-daughter relationship. This is really the beating heart of the film, and both Zaira Vazim as well as Meha Vich are absolutely fantastic. One might argue that it's rather easy to stir up emotions when portraying domestic violence, 
but it can also become exploitative and overtly manipulative as well. And in this case, it doesn't. Through the great acting and careful direction, it always stays very realistic and also very hard-hitting. There's one scene in particular that's absolutely heartbreaking. It's when the husband Farouk wants Najma to wear a golden necklace for a wedding they are invited to. Only that she has sold it in order to help her daughter follow her dreams. Something that she of course can tell her strict and abusive husband. And because he's a patriarchal scumbag, and by the way, very impressively and terror-inducingly played by Raj Arjun, he is beating up his wife while the children have to stay in the room next door. The acting of Zaira Razim in moments like these is phenomenal. There are several scenes in which she doesn't know how to vent her anger, where she's smashing things around her and the emotions conveyed through her eyes and body language, it's really something. But because this is a wonderful emotional crowd pleaser, we can deal with these hardships because the movie is also giving us a lot of comfort and beautiful things to embrace. For one, of course, the beautiful music, the wonderful soundtrack composed by Ami Tridvedi, and the great singing by playback singer Meghna Mishra. Then, of course, the already mentioned mother-daughter bond. But also the really heartfelt relationship between Insia and her schoolmate Shintan. He is just such a great friend to her and the moment when he confesses his love is just wonderful. And I also really adored how much Insia and Shintan come across as ordinary children. Except Insia's immense talent of course. But there's really a nice chemistry between the two of them and when they come up with and go through with their plan at the beginning of the second half, it's just really sweet. And at that point, you are also just really invested into the story and these characters. Not just with Insia, but also Chintan, Najma and even Insia's little brother Gudu. And now there's of course also Ami Khan's character Shakti Kumar, a kind of sleazy Bollywood music composer who is at a very rough spot in his life. He functions as a comedic relief and Amir Khan is certainly chewing the scenery, which can be a bit off-putting in the setting, but still worked for me. And his character of course also functions as a helpmate for Insia. And this is also where the movie surprised me positively again. Or maybe it's more that I was afraid it would go a different route and when it didn't, I was happy about that. I was afraid, with Amir Khan being this big of a star, that the focus of the movie would shift to his character and that Insia would become an important plot device in his character arc helping him to overcome his demons and become a better person. But thankfully, that happens rather organically and without much fanfare. And the movie always stays focused on Insia and on her relationship with her mother. And through that, it paints a powerful picture of feminism, gender equality and how to break free of the shackles of patriarchy. Again, the approach is that of a tearjerker family entertainer in which things will work out but in that, the film does a wonderful job delivering exactly that. And in the end, I was rooting for their freedom like I haven't rooted for anything in a long time. Again, I was kind of afraid something different would happen. Like maybe Ami Khan's buffed up character beating up the scumbag father, which might have been slightly cathartic but also a bit ridiculous, but what actually happens was much more satisfying. Advai Chandan really knows how to put his audience through all the emotions, which is why I'm looking forward to his version of Forrest Gump even more now. So, in German I'd say, Secret Superstar ist ein wirklich super starker, emotionaler Coming-of-Age-Film mit einer mitreißenden Mutter-Tochter-Beziehung im Kern. Die einfache, fast märchenhafte Erzählung ist dabei völlig legitim, um diese ermächtigende und inspirierende Geschichte zu transportieren. I give Secret Superstar 8 out of 10. It's more like 8.3, but I don't do that. Now get out! Alright, that's it. Like always, comment below and let me know what you think about Secret Superstar. And also, how much are you looking forward to Lal Singh Chada? You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterbox, and also on Patreon, simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like, and make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.